Hey guys, Luck here. Just did an oil change on my charger and I forgot to share with everybody uh, a quick fix if you have a de damaged oil pan, uh, meaning if uh, the thread for your drain plug is all stripped and uh, your pan basically needs replacement. That's what the dealership told me. They're the ones that stripped it because we used to back in the day get our oil changed there uh, just for warranty reasons. And yeah, they probably use power tools and strip this because you're only supposed to talk just to 25 foot pounds, uh, your drain plug for the oil. Uh, so they quoted me $900 to replace the pan, which I was like, no way. And I went on Amazon, I believe that was two, three years ago. And I found this, I'll put a link below. It's uh, basically a, a damaged pan thread for aluminum oil pans uh, uh, replacement. It's a bolt, which I'll show you guys in a close up in a second, that you epoxy in your current uh, drain hole and it's magnetic. So no more screwing anything in. It's been three years, it's working great. I will show you guys exactly what it looks like right now and how to install it. And I recommend doing this if you have this issue because instead of $900, it cost me, I believe, like 20. So let's check it out. That's what I'm talking about. I already have it installed, but I can still walk you through the process. Um, this is your typical drain plug. So once the oil pan strips, this no longer gets a tight connection and the oil leaks. You might be able to replace this, but that's not what I was told. Um, they wanted to replace the whole pan. This is the thing I found. It's Eco Plug Systems. I believe they have newer models, even easier to use, but this one uses an epoxy mix. So basically, here's the directions. What you do is you're gonna take uh drain your oil obviously completely so there's no oil leaking you're going to take this piece which is it fits multiple uh, sizes as you see and you're going to thread it onto the current uh, pan and you're going to thread it until you create a new thread basically you, you're uh, destroying the old thread making a new tight connection you're going to remove this you're going to clean it up you're going to prep the epoxy you're going to rub the epoxy all over the thread and you're going to thread it on to your oil pan and you're going to cover the excess leftover uh, with the thread connection next to the oil pan and wait about 10 minutes and you are good to go this little piece here is magnetic i will show you guys video clips of my oil change right now so you can see exactly how this drains but let me show you the actual installed piece right now and this is it right here as you guys can see this has been three years now. This is what I was talking about using the excess. You just go around the thread just for connection. And here is your magnetic piece. Uh, you just pull this out and the oil drains right out. Clean it up and put it back on. And it even comes with this rubber sleeve. So after you do your oil change, you just cover this to protect it. And just like that. This has been three years now and it's functioning great. Hope this is useful guys recommend doing it if you have this issue it's a quick fix that lasts but basically all i'm gonna do it's magnetic once you install this and i'm just pulling this out to drain it and that's it this is magnetic one make sure that your seal is back under if it came off and this is just gonna pop right in like this and that's it, and it's sealed. And that's my upgrade. It was this, or replacing this oil pan, which was $900 quoted, because the thread was worn out in here. And this has been three years now, no leaks, no nothing. As you guys can see, it works great. So yeah guys, super quick fix to fix your uh, oil pan. Uh, with a strip thread, 100% um, it works. I've been had this, like I said, for three years now, and it's solid, no drips, no leaks. Um, very cool design. Check out their site for the latest ones. I think it's even easier to use now and install. But anyway, that's it. Please check out the links below in my description. I have a lot of lots of other videos on this car, uh, car repairs in general, um, how to do a radiator, oil change, brakes, whatever. Also house repair and other things. So if this is something that interests you, please subscribe to my channel. I don't think you'll regret it. If you have any comments, comment below. I will be glad to answer within 24 hours usually. Thanks for watching and have a good one, guys.